90% of all the world's data, all the data that humanity has ever created, was created in just the past two years. Every single second, we generate enough data to fill 50 libraries of Congress. We carry around phones that are a thousand times more powerful than the mainframe computers NASA was using in the 1970s. And every day, more people around the world are gaining access to the web, creating a global information network that was impossible to imagine just a few decades ago. Workers, consumers, voters, patients, they all have to navigate this profoundly new and different world. It can be overwhelming, and it will only continue to accelerate. But if you look inside an American classroom today, you would have no idea any of these changes have occurred. Students are still being forced to learn antiquated skills in the traditional mathematics curriculum, handwritten procedures like polynomial division, or Euclidean geometric proofs, or matrix multiplication. In the world outside, only a fraction of today's workers actually use these skills, and many of these handwritten procedures have been replaced by computers. Not only are they boring and tedious to learn, but they make our kids hate us for it. Meanwhile, the skills necessary for working with data are completely missing from what we teach today. This needs to change. Employers are desperate for new employees who have the skills to analyze and interpret data. Some of the country's top universities now require data science or statistics for a number of college majors. And standardized tests like the SAT and ACT have already added questions that require data-related skills. So how can K through 12 do the same? First, students should begin by developing a flexible and conceptual understanding of what data is, where it comes from, and what it can be used for. This should start early in elementary school mathematics. Other subjects like social studies or biology could reinforce these concepts through short modules or classroom activities, integrating data learning throughout the curriculum. In middle and high school, we then take the traditional mathematics sequence, often called the geometry sandwich, and remove some of the least relevant content. By purging and merging antiquated content from geometry and algebra two, we would reduce each of these courses to a half year, opening up space for new content. In their place, we add a year dedicated to data science, statistics, and modeling, some of the core skills needed to effectively understand and intelligently work with data. By high school graduation, all students will become users and consumers of data, visualizing, analyzing, and making decisions based on data in both their work and personal lives. This change would be for everyone, regardless of income and background. By becoming data literate, every student would have a chance for success in the careers of tomorrow. And it would preserve a path to more advanced math like calculus for those who want it. Teaching data to everyone could propel the next generation of American researchers, workers, and citizens into a brighter 21st century with the skills necessary to do so. Data literacy is not a subject for some, but rather a skill set for all. Want to help make the change? Learn how at www.21cmath.org.